Hey guys, what is going on? So I just left work. It is the day that I wanted to go to the track. Uh, it's been raining all day. Uh, it's about 1.30 right now. We're not gonna make it to the track because obviously you guys saw in the last video, my front tires, or basically Ashley's front tires, did not fit. Uh, so I'm gonna need to pick up a set of 26 inch tall uh, front tires for that. Uh, but uh, what I'm gonna do right now is head over to Gary Owens Ford here in Daytona, and I'm gonna pick up the part we need for Ashley's car, which is the shift boot area. Uh, basically, the plastic uh, lock ring was broken, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, there's screws, set screws that go in there, and they're supposed to lock in, and uh, they were broken. Uh, so let's go head over there, or they were broken uh, from before. Uh, so let's go head over there and get a replacement. So those of you guys who have not been over here in Daytona, there is just a straight road of dealerships over here. Uh, so this this is I-95, and over here is uh, the Daytona dealerships. And this runs from you know Volkswagen, Mercedes, Mazda. Obviously, we have Ford, which is where we're going. This road here is a one-way, uh, so we have to go all the way down and around, uh, and then back into the dealership. Uh, so we're gonna have the Ford dealership right over here. Uh, but it's pretty pretty crazy that this whole strip here is all dealerships, and uh, that's where we're gonna need to be going right there for Ford. All right, we're just gonna pull in here. Uh, this is the same dealership that we did the review on the 2018 Mustang. Uh, they always have a lot of uh, cool stuff here. Um, looks like they have uh, some uh, 17s they're trying to get rid of right there. I love that lightning blue. Absolutely love those. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and head over to parts. So yeah. So this is the part that's broken, or actually the underneath. Uh, as you can see, this plastic piece is broken. Let me know if anyone else has had this issue too. Uh, basically the bolts were driven in too far and broke this plastic piece and that sits on the pull-up collar so um, that wouldn't tighten enough in order to fix. So I'm gonna get a replacement one of these. All right, bad news. Looks like the part did not come in. Although I checked with Brian first. It looks like this part is pretty hard to get. Um, it's one piece with the shift boot. I don't know if anyone else has had the problem. They said they'd never had the problem. Um, it wasn't from me because I just loosened it up and it was already broken. So it was from when the uh, Ford Racing short throw shifter was installed, uh, which I didn't do. Uh, so uh, I'm going to go head home and yeah. All right, well, I just made it back. Fortunately, the Cobra's not coming to the track tonight, which I already said. I am going to have to take these off the car because I'm gonna to need to pick up a set of 26 inch tall by four and a half, 17 inch front tires. The 28's nowhere near clear, uh, so that kind of stinks. And just to take a look here, this is not sitting on the fender, but as soon as the wheel turns, it's literally rubbing on the fender. It looks pretty mean though, but fortunately it does not work. I do have my JMS Black Chrome uh, front runner, which is actually the matching one to go with that. Um, these are, of course, Ashley's. All right guys, so it is a little bit later and I do have two packages that just got here. And if you can see, we have an engine harness for a five liter. This is for John's car. And we got a set of headers here and let's just take a look this has to be one of the weirdest ways that I have ever seen something shipped before it's very strange all right and there you have it long tube headers for an 11 to 14 coyote these are the BBK I think inch and three quarters and these are ceramic coated so John decided to have these sent here instead of sending them to him because he's uh, down south more uh, and he thinks that I see Nick too much so he thought it'd just be easier uh, to send them here and which actually I'm going to see Nick tomorrow I'm supposed to work on Turdzilla hopefully hopefully get a first start for Turdzilla which I'm really excited about. I wanna give you guys some kind of updates on John's car too. Uh, I wanna make it clear that John's car isn't like a build for the channel, obviously it's not my car, although he's a good friend of mine and he's running his own YouTube channel. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to him, uh, I know a lot of times when I start posting about different builds, you guys will be like, hey, whatever happened with this build? 
Um, I just want to make it clear that like that that isn't like a build uh, for our channel. Um, so if you're ever wondering what's going on with the car, uh, his channel is going to be the best place to go for it. However, right now I am giving you guys some good updates as it is over at Nick's. I visit Nick very often. Um, I have his headers here, which I'm going to bring over to him. I also gave him a set of uh, Coyote uh, cams, which I have in my <laughs> parts depot over here. Um, and then his engine harness also came in. So guys, I hope you are excited. I know this video wasn't very eventful. I still need to switch the wheels back on the Cobra. Uh, I need to get a new set of 26 inch fronts. Um, I know it wasn't that exciting, but um, here's some little update on that. I'm hoping to get Turzilla running tomorrow. Hoping. Uh, so anyway guys, make sure you slap that like button down below. Leave a comment. Let us know what you think. And we will see you guys next time.